This is the Straight Truth Podcast, biblical answers to difficult questions from a Christian worldview. Let's have a discussion about understanding the relationship between faith and works in the New Testament. So a couple texts to keep in mind. Number one, uh, we might go to a place like Romans 5, um, where Paul says, uh, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And yet on the other hand, we have an author like uh, James saying in James 2, 23, the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness and he was called a friend of God. And James says this, you see that a person is justified, same word that Paul uses, justified by works and not by faith alone. And so that is commonly a, a, a tricky situation for interpreters of Scripture, even mature interpreters of Scripture. Yeah. How do you work these things out? How do we understand faith and works and how they, and how they cohere in the New Testament? Yeah, so on the one hand, you have justification by faith alone set forth in Scripture in plain terms. And then you have James saying that we're not justified by faith alone, mm -hmm. but by works in addition to our faith. And so the question is, how can this not be contradictory? Mm -hmm. And the answer has to do with the fact that we have to hear the words biblical writers use in their context, because they can use the same words, but with slightly different meanings, depending upon context. So when you think about justification by faith alone, right, to be declared right, to be declared righteous, that has to do with being justified before God. So how does one find acceptance with God? Mm. Uh, how does one know that his or her sins are completely forgiven? How does one know that we have found a place of complete acceptance with God? The answer is, it is by faith alone. It's not on the basis of our works. It's on the basis of Christ's finished work and our reception of, our, of his finished work, our entering into the benefits of his finished work by faith alone. It's by believing. The moment one believes in Jesus as the Son of God, as the Savior of the world, as my Lord and Savior, at that very moment of genuine faith, I am declared right with God mm -hmm. on the basis of the finished work of God's Son. His death answering for all of my sins, His righteousness answering for my acceptance with God. God Im imputes, he, he puts to our account the righteousness of His own Son on the basis of faith alone. What James is talking about is something different. It is being declared righteous, right, in the sight of men. So it's not justification before God, it's justification before a watching world. Hmm. How does the world know that I have really been accepted by God, that my sins really are forgiven, that the righteousness of Christ really is mine now as a gift. How does the world know that I'm really one of God's children? The answer is not just based upon my faith, uh, uh, my declarations of faith. James talks about the faith of demons. Uh, you say that God is one, you do well. The devils also mm -hmm. believe and tremble. Mm -hmm. So it's not just by mere profession that the world knows that God has done this in my life. It's by my works as well. And this gets to the source of our works versus the fruit of our works. The source of our works is faith. Faith explains the works of a believer, but faith results in that which is tangible, which is observable, which is, which is lived out in a person's life, not just spoken of in a person's mouth. So the source of our works is genuine faith, but genuine faith is never by itself. Genuine faith always exhibits itself, produces something by virtue of its presence, and what it produces are these works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 2, 8 through 10, for by grace are you saved through faith, that mm -hmm. not of yourselves, it's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should mm -hmm. boast, for, verse 10, we are his workmanship mm -hmm. created in Christ Jesus unto good works, mm -hmm. which That's God right. prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So that, that text mm -hmm. brings these two ideas together. Mm -hmm. Saved by faith alone mm -hmm. in the finished work of God's Son, but then made new as mm -hmm. a result of regeneration, new birth. Mm -hmm. We are new creations in Christ Jesus, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. The result of which is these works that we now walk in, and just as God prepared beforehand our 
belonging to him, our salvation, he also prepared beforehand these good works that we would walk in. Mm -hmm. So justification by faith alone is never divorced from justification by faith and works. Mm -hmm. Justification before God always results in this justification before men, which is able to be witnessed in the good works that God prepared beforehand that we would walk in them. Mm -hmm. So that's how we would bring those two ideas together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like what you're saying about um, James and, and justification before men. The very I mean, after he says, you see that a person is justified, justified rather by works and not by faith alone, he gives that example. And in the same way was not also Rahab the prostitute justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way. For as the body apart from the spirit of the dead, so faith apart from works is that also just an example of somebody who exhibits their new faith in what she does. A faith that still exists in the realm of death, the faith of demons mm -hmm. versus a living faith, mm -hmm. a faith that reflects salvation. Mm -hmm. And that faith always exhibits itself in good works. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Straight Truth Podcast. Now, Straight Truth is listener supported. So if you'd like to find out ways how you can help us to continue to produce this podcast, you can go to our website and find out ways to do that, straighttruth.net. At that website, you'll also find links to all of our previous episodes and our social media channels, so be sure to check it out. Straight Truth is a production of Walking in Grace Ministries, the preaching and teaching ministry of Pastor Richard Caldwell. For more information, go to walkingingrace.org.